to my channel. Hey yo, hey yo, listen up, listen up, yeah. Hey yo, hey yo, hey yo. The wireless woman. You in charge of the girls, right? I am in charge of the girls. Are you in charge of the girls? I am in charge of the girls. Okay. All right, welcome back, Wi Fi's, to yet another underground transmission of the wireless woman. Go ahead and do me a favor on your way in and like this video. Why? When you like it, well, I love it. And if you haven't already, I can't figure out why, but if you haven't, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Subscribe to the channel. <laughs> Click the bell button for notifications of when I go live and when I upload new content because it's about to be an event, baby. Y'all about to get this content, content, content. I've decided to diversify on my channel. And even though y'all know I hate to talk about current events, oh, I had to get in on this one. Jonathan Majors arrested on charges of assault after alleged incident with woman actor denies claim. Listen, I'm going to read. I'm going to read this. I'm a good reader. I've been reading to people since I was in kindergarten. And then I'll respond. Okay, I'm going to read to respond, not react. It says TMZ was the first to report the alleged incident, saying that managers was booked on charges of strangulation, assault, and harassment. Mm. And see, a lot of people don't know this, but that strangulation charge, that is a felony. Mm -hmm. They have changed the laws because they noticed that there was a correlation between men who unalived their significant others in domestic violence and strangulation. They say it requires a greater level of depravity and violence to face-to-face -face strangle somebody. So if there's a face-to-face -face strangulation, maybe that's a class H, class I in some places. Well, in there. Hmm. All right. PMZ reported the woman accusing Majors is, in fact, his girlfriend. Now, I'm getting the updated versions of this, but when I first heard it a couple of hours ago, they said it was a woman. I said, oh, no, no, no. He know her, baby, because <laughs> you don't just choke strangers. Unless they pay you to, but listen. Anyway, a rep for Majors tells E.T. he's done nothing wrong. We're looking forward to clearing his name and cleaning this up. The NYPD told CBS News in a statement that they received a 911 call from an apartment in Chelsea neighborhood. Okay, so we already know. White. Let's keep going. At 11.14 a.m. Ooh, this was the morning? Oh, okay. Um, preliminary investigation determined that there had been a domestic dispute involving majors and a 30-year-old. What? It don't say that, but it could be inferred from the information that I've gathered so far from this article that it was a white woman. Uh, she had been assaulted, taken to the hospital, major head and neck injuries. According to police, she's in stable condition. TMZ say that majors and his girlfriend... Ooh, did we know he had a girlfriend? Have we seen the girlfriend? I just feel like there's details missing from the, he had a girlfriend. Um, so allegedly saw another woman texting him mm. and she confronted him mm, trying to look at his phone. <laughs> Baby, you can't make this stuff up. Majors allegedly grabbed her hand and slapped her. He has also, she has also accused him of putting his hands around her neck, hands and feet, baby. Um, the two spent the night in separate locations. Major's girlfriend went to the police on Saturday morning and reported him mm, taken to jail in custody. He's out of custody now. We know that. But listen, here's the thing. These are the fit, feminine, friendly ambassadors to the United States. This was, this was the final frontier for our men. You know, Nick Cannon had his little talk with uh, Riza Islam where he told him that the white woman was the black man's reward, you know? White women are looked at as success yes. in America. We see a white woman. I couldn't have you. My daddy mm -hmm. couldn't have you. My granddaddy couldn't have you. Mm -hmm. I would get killed even looking at mm -hmm. you. So now if I play for the NBA, I want them all. And um, 
if that's the case, because I'm, I'm not going to refute it either way. I know I've been accused of being a man hater, and uh, I think I'm going to go ahead and be unleashed. You know, the motto of my channel is unplugged, unbothered, and unleashed. I've gotten unplugged. I did that years ago, and I've been living under the umbrella, under the sweet, sweet release of being unbothered. But now we about to be unleashed. Now we got to tell the truth. And what I find to be so fascinating is that um, if the white woman is the black man's reward, great, great. But what is the black man then? Is he the white woman's reward? Because, I mean, they packing up now and going overseas. Like, they're going to take this show on the road. And I, I'm okay with it. I, 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 I feel as the... Black female delegation, uh, you know, spokesperson. I don't speak for all of us. Clearly, clearly, I may not even speak for many of us. But even if I'm in the minority or majority party of the black female delegation, I just want to say, bon voyage, arrivederci. I want to say aloha because it's both hello and goodbye. <laughs> I want to say au revoir. I want to say hasta luego, except we ain't going to see you later. Because when we see you later, it's going to be in an orange jumpsuit. I mean, we went from gang violence. You know, it's, it's, it's odd to me because we talk about Karens. We talk about this whole phenomenon with these women, and unfortunately for us as black women, we've been polarized against other groups of women by the selection process of our men when we really shouldn't be, when we really shouldn't be, because even though the race is different, the story is the same. And this is an indication to us as black women what needs to go on in our community, because at the end of the day, this is still a result of our community. These are men that we have raised and unleashed on the population. <laughs> See, I'm talking to us about being unleashed, you know, to go and start businesses, to go and start uh, home ownership, to, to have this type of upward mobility that we need as women because we don't have the access, we don't have the vehicle in our community to get the wealth. But these are still the men of our community. They still speak for us as a collective because, you know, they're telling us we need to be accountable for even them as well. And even though I don't agree with that concept as the the, the most singlest black motherist group, even though <laughs> we know that's changing. But as of right now, these were the men that we unleashed on the population. And we are going to have to be accountable to ourselves and for ourselves. We've been doing it for the years and the decades because as other groups of women are beginning to find solidarity with us, we can't be the ones that are jumping ship and reaffirming this type of behavior in men because when they're toe tagging us, putting hands and feet on them, now moving overseas and going to other countries to do this. We we cannot be the supply and power base for this like black women are for so many other things. Black women are, we are the ones who really set the tone for a lot of things in this country. And I'm glad to see us continuing to wake up from the fog that is black male worship and continue to be the ones now who are the Moses generation leading other women out of that type of delusion. And like I said, this is not just black men. They're following in their forefathers' footsteps. They're following in the footsteps of white male patriarchy, which is the reason why white women were the first ones to, to really be on the feminist kick. You know, we as black women didn't necessarily have the same issue with our men, but we got it now. We got it now. So black women, what are you about to do about it? Let me know in these comments. Drop that fire headphones emoji. I look forward to engaging with you there. Until the next time, y'all already know the drill. <laughs> is this thing unfolds? I can't say I'm going to stay on it, but I definitely wanted to touch on it. Y'all have a good one. Section leaders, what is our concept? One band, one sound. One band, one sound.